Hi, if you're looking for the best cloud storage provider, then in this short video, I will introduce the best service to you. It is one of the leading providers of home telephony services, offering great features and low rates for domestic and international calls. I will tell you a few secrets that few people know about, but which make it truly one of the best in the best online storage category. I will leave the link to the official website under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Look closely. We are starting. Carbonite Safe is one of the easiest online backup services to use, but it's not the leader in features or costs. For example, each computer requires a separate license for which you pay a fee and backing up the external and network drives are limited to premium accounts. Unlike many similar services, Carbonite Safe does not allow you to share files from online storage and does not include mobile apps to backup files from your phone. Carbonite Safe does a great job with basic backup tasks, but it's not enough to stand out in this crowded category. Pricing for Carbonite Safe is simple. For $83.99 a year, the basic plan gives you unlimited backup space for a single PC or Mac. The Plus Upgrade option adds the ability to backup external drives and automatically download videos. You must do the second task manually with the basic plans. The Prime plan lowers the cost of a recovery courier service where Carbonite sends you a copy of your data on an external drive. This is important when your hard drive is destroyed or you don't have the time or bandwidth to download hundreds of gigabytes of recovered files. For, For Prime customers, the courier service costs $9.99 with the option to add expedited shipping for $19.99. For basic and plus users, the courier service request is $99.99, including expedited shipping. There is an additional charge for not returning cards or disks. If you need licenses for more than one computer, you should look elsewhere, as Carbonite Save Basic Plus and Prime plans require you to pay the full subscription fee for each additional computer. The Carbonite Save Core subscription supports up to 25 computers, but all includes 250 gigabytes of space. Each 100 gigabyte increase in storage increases the cost by $100 per year. Carbonite offers a free 15-day trial of its plans, but there is no permanent free plan with low storage capacity. Carbonite has apps for Windows and MacOS computers, but they no longer offer mobile apps. Carbonite says it encrypts your files before they leave your computer and encrypts them again during transfer to one of our data centers using 128-bit Bluefish encryption. Your files remain encrypted on our servers, which are housed in data centers that are guarded 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can save the private encryption key locally or let Carbonite manage it instead. With the private key option, you are the only person who can decrypt your backup. On the other hand, if you lose this private encryption key, Carbonite won't be able to help you restore your backup. If you choose the private encryption key method, you will not be able to use the Carbonite web interface or courier recovery service. If you allow Carbonite to store your encryption key, these restrictions do not apply. Carbonite allows you to set up two-factor authentication during account creation and requires you to select control questions. After downloading the Carbonite Safe software, the first thing you must do is select an alias for your computer. That way, if you add other computers to your account, you'll know which one has the files you want. Carbonite then prompts you to automatically select what to include and when to schedule the download. If you choose the Select Backup Everything, there is no easy way to deselect or remove data from online storage in the desktop app. Instead, you have to manually uncheck folders individually in Windows Explorer. 
The advanced option allows you to select backup folders and a download schedule. You can use it to fine-tune Carbonite's default settings or start from scratch. If you choose the Plus or Prime plan, you can back up the connected external drive. Here you also choose between the above-mentioned encryption key settings. Then it's time to choose when the backup should take place – continuously or once a day. If your internet connection isn't the strongest, you may prefer the latter option, although it's possible to set up Carbonite so that it doesn't load during the busiest hours. However, the continuous option only downloads file changes and new files, so it shouldn't burden your connection too much in everyday use. Keep in mind that Carbonite Safe takes an all-or-nothing approach to schedule, so you can schedule different sets of backups to be downloaded at different times or with different settings. Your last options before Carbonite Safe starts preparing and uploading your data are to enable a service that prevents your PC from going to sleep mode during backups and add any files that aren't automatically covered, videos, and files larger than 4 GB. Carbonite Safe integrates with Windows Explorer but not with the Finder in macOS. The program adds an orange dot if the file is waiting to be backed up and a green dot if it has been uploaded to Carbonite servers. If you see a half-full dot next to a folder, it means that Carbonite Safe has already uploaded the files you specified for backup to it, but there are files in the folder for which you didn't choose to backup. Right-click any file on disk to add or remove it from the backup set. Carbonite also adds a virtual disk to your PC where you can view all the files in the backup set and view any pending downloads. Right-clicking on any file allows you to restore previous versions of it or immediately back it up before any scheduled backup. While downloading, the Carbonite Safe interface shows the current file in the download queue as well as a general progress bar. An icon on the taskbar allows you to launch the main Carbonite application, search and restore data, or enter recovery mode. The settings tab allows you to disable explore points, change the backup set and schedule and reduce bandwidth usage although there aren't any configurable options for bandwidth management here. You can also manually pause or restart the backup process. If you don't uncheck Enable Default File Types for Carbonite, you may find that Carbonite reselects all your custom folders for backups every time you run the program, which is annoying. The Carbonite Say Web interface looks clean, with clear menus and elements, but sometimes there are slight delays when navigating between sections. Once you click on your backup device, the main view displays a sortable file tree and a quick search box as well as a side menu to access your account settings and support pages. The file tree is intuitive and easy to navigate through the file hierarchy of your backups, although there seems to be a delay between when the desktop reports backing up files and when they appear online. To download a file, simply click the blue download icon to the right of the file name. Carbonite does not include any file sharing capabilities, so you cannot create a direct link to a file or extend access for editing. The account settings in the web interface are quite simple. You can set up two-factor verification by SMS and added control questions when you need to change your password. Carbonite's help pages are clear and helpful. The knowledge base is easy to search and contains a video step-by-step -step instructions for many of the entries. Users can also easily manage subscriptions from this interface. The Carbonite Safe Desktop application makes it easy to recover files. There is a prominent Go Back button they let you choose between retrieving certain files or downloading everything from your current online backup. When you search for files to restore, you have the option of replacing them in their original location or loading them into a new folder. 
One problem we run into with Carbonite is that if you delete a file on the computer for which the backup is created, the service only keeps the file for 30 days. Carbonite keeps multiple versions of files as you add it and save them. Versions are kept slightly longer than deleted files, 3 months. However, you are limited to 12 versions. Carbonite correctly backed up multiple versions of a text document during testing. When you perform a full restore on a new computer with Carbonite Safe, you lose the ability to back up the original PC because the basic subscription covers only one computer. If you don't want to pay for another license, just save all your files in a separate folder. The search field in the restore window allows you to specify specific folders and data first. Carbonite estimates how long it will take to restore and makes the files already processed available at any time during the restore. If you just want to back up your PC files to prepare for the occasional crisis, Carbonite Safe is a worthy choice. It has a nice interface and adheres to a set it and forget it philosophy with unlimited storage, but it's expensive if you want to back up multiple computers. Carbonite Safe also lacks sharing features and a mobile app to back up your data from your phone.